Good morning, this is Lisa from Low Cooking Robert's Day and welcome to my channel. It's the Monday. That means I have to go work. My new job, four times a week and every time 30 minutes. Yep, swimming, I consider is a job. Don't really like it. Okay, and what is this? This is actually a fun time. You know, do you remember when you was a kid and then you want to wake up so um, early in the morning because you worry that you are going to miss all the fun time? I am that little girl. You know, I can't wait to get to my studio and just play. So this is just so much fun. Okay, so one more quick video and then I have to go working on my digital file for 2021 spring new release and then finalize the, the special promotion for that A new backgrounds and then the new video are coming soon for all the those A backgrounds while I'm doing the promotion to show you what we can do, what, do we, uh, what kind of car we can make with those uh, A brand new backgrounds there. It's going to be awesome. So today's video is about the dollar store again. Have you checked my last video, a uh, few video? I was, I found the song awesome stamping tool at dollar store and it works so well for stamping and I hope you like it. Today's video is also one of the project that I am, um, I got an idea from dollar store. I was watching one of the movie, uh, one of the YouTube uh, video. One lady, she bought a two Costco cake and a uh, birthday cake and he she turned into, turned to, those two cakes into a wedding cake worth that $500. But I think cost probably cost her $100 because after, even though she used the base of that Costco cakes, but she still have to put icy decoration with a flower, whatever. So it costs $100. But today's uh, video, today's project is it cost you $1.25 Canadian. So probably less than $1 US dollars. And I think if I'm your friend, I will be very happy to receive this as a gift and then maybe lend a car. So what I'm going to show you today, that's started. Okay, today's video, actually, I found the two items from Dollar Store and it worked perfectly well. One is this post-it note. You can get it from the stationery store, but uh, I think from the Dollar Store, you can get a pretty good, uh, good price. So this is the one of the post-it notes that you have. And then here is the other one. They have a kind of different size you can use. So that's the one thing. And the other one is at least a calendar. You know, I, who, like now, who is right down their schedule? Everybody just put their phone, right? Me too. I, you know, I use my phones a lot, especially I spend a lot of time um, reading all the comments on you guys, the email, the orders. So, but I try to limit the time that I, I um, I'm spending on my phone. So I did, I, I would like, like I told, one day I went to the dollar store and I saw this little calendar. It's about 2021 to 2022. So it's two years calendar and it's a small and thin and uh, it's easy to carry and it's actually pretty nice. So, but I don't really like the package, even though it's kind of nice, have a national park, all the parks there. But I say I am going to decorate uh, my calendar. See how pretty? And this is from one of my stamps that is called Look at Me. It's really cute. So, and then I just uh, kind of decorate this calendar. So I think this, the little calendar is awesome. Actually, this one is pretty cute. See, the Christmas one have a dark marshmallow snowman sitting the hot cocoa. So, I think uh, this one, I actually like it, the pumpkin one. So it's a very cute inside. You can do a lot of things. So I, I use this little um, calendar to write down my YouTube schedule. When should I launch what? Instead of looking for the phone because I really spend too much time on my phone and I don't think so that's uh, a good idea. How long do you spend the time on your phone? It's so addictive, right? Okay, and then I was showing you my $1 million tip. Remember how to do the partial die cut? So after I created, I cover, I created the surface of this one, I said I want to make a bookmark. And I've been using this set for the other project too. And you can visit Local King Online Video Library. You can see all the other projects. I love to use the, the same stamp to, to do too many different kinds of projects. I think that's the best part of the stamping, not just use the one stamp and then that's it. 
So I like to use the stem to do all different stuff. And I have improved uh, to you the last week I used the, the comb combo set to create a seven or eight different kind of project. And I hope you like it. So these, remember, that was my $1, uh, one million, not $1, $1 million tip to do the partial car. So I was kind of um, play around this one. So that was my first car I did, the partially die car. Remember, we just blocked few and I want to move, make a bookmark. So I kind of put my plates here. And then in my past few video, I have shown you what kind of tool you can use to using to block your die cut to do the partial die cut, right? So I was doing this one. I said, well, that's kind of cute, right? Well, I like it. And then I was thinking, oh, I want to use my $1 million uh, tip today. Um, the, so I, I cut it. And then, so after I die cut it, that look like this, right? So, and then you can just uh, trimming, uh, trimming it and then you can make a kind of pop out car like that. And then before I trimming it, I say, why did I, why I trimming it? Why don't I just kind of make it like a, like a hanging part? So, and then you just come out with it like this and then you can hang there and then a uh, draft is kind of pop out. So I think these techniques are good for all the animals, especially for the 2021 new release. There's a panda. Mirror cat, raccoon, and the one more guy, the rabbit. I think all the animals had will make a perfectly, a uh, perfect bookmark like that. So that's uh, the bookmark and uh, my $1 million tip to show you how to do that. See, you kind of just, uh, you don't trimming off. You just uh, hold like a uh, folding it. And I put the piece of acetate to kind of support it. Okay. Or you can seal with those kind of laminated sheets or whatever they will do will live longer depending on how important your friend is, right? So that way now, I can't believe it is March. What happened? Well, my birthday is coming soon. I asked my husband, would you like to make me a birthday card, do a video? He said, yeah, 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 but I never seeking anymore. I don't know where he do spend most of the time in his uh, main cave to do the exercise. Okay. So today's video, the first part is introduce you those awesome little mini ca calendars. So next time when you go to the dollar store, maybe pick up one and two. I think, I think this is a great gift for the little kids to teach them how to plan their time and, uh, and have a two years. And uh, I think it's really pretty. And then the car stuff I use a little bit thick. So I kind of have this nice uh, elastic to kind of holding it. Hey, I think that's an awesome gift in dollar twenty two, and I think it's better than the car, don't you think? Oh, you you can even make it to the car, so that way every time your friend use this calendar, he will think of he or she will think of you. Okay, so the second part of uh, this video, I am going to show you a perfect way to do a masking. Okay, so. I have, uh, I am not going to do the same, uh, same, the same image. I'm actually just, uh, I want to show you, uh, because this is a kind of small. So what I did is uh, I just uh, cut like this, right? So the size, the draft is a little bit bigger. Is it? Hmm. You have a bigger post notes. No, I actually put the two pieces together to extend them my area. So I think that's a, make a good video to show you how you can extend it, your poster notes as big as you want to, to do your masking. So I am going to just use uh, one of my flower set. So I'm going to just kind of do three. And then did you watch my last video, the one on the black heart stuff? And I think it's so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to just stamp in with uh, my Versify, uh, Versify and I'm going to show you how we are going to do the... So I'm going to just, uh, this is the fuchsia. So I am going to just do the front page one and then we can actually do the background too. And then remember my dollar store tool, I really found out 
instead if you really push push especially if your wrist have a some arthritis is not really can push this is definitely a great tool okay helping you to get a nice stem image and then did you watch the last video my cleaning the those kind of silicone scrubber that i found at the dollar store so what you do is you just spray some water here and you just uh, oop, don't do too strong kind of gently rubbing and then just clean with a wet cloth see i clean my stem so well and then i put that yogurt cap to holding the water because sometimes you spray a little bit too much water you don't want it running on your table and i was mentioned see the tool that i found that it worked well and i'm using it okay so this is big image right so it's really depend on what size of your calendar this calendar is 7.5 inches by 3 and 5 8 inches okay so it's kind of big if you can find those kind of big uh, post-it notes that's good but usually when they are big they are much more expensive so we are going to just extend it the most common one is this one right so what you're going to do is you this one is almost there but just in case we're going to just do one okay so we can take the sticky part instead of i put on top i actually rotate it and then i am going to use a double side tape to do that the reason i do that is because I want to use this as a masking, right? So when I'm masking it, I have to have some place to, to hold the, the paper to stick on top. So this one is, and then I need the other sheet. Let me see. You have to do a little bit bigger. So that's just, uh, let's just use the four sheets. Or you can use the, like a different kind of posted notes. So in the back, remember put a little bit put a little bit double side tape and then we are going to put the other piece remember the sticky part we are going to put in the back okay so just one more sheet here okay so we just do that okay i cover all the stuff all my stamp image just make sure is uh, your masking is big enough okay let me grab this it is really mask right but if you are planning to use these uh, masks again what you can do is we can use the uh, clear those are packing, packing tape. Just like a cheap, invisible tape or any kind of tape. You can kind of more secure. Okay. So this is going to be my masking. Okay. Now we're going to die cut. So here we just put the one more piece uh, to, to make sure. And then I'm going to put in my die cut. So the die cut, it was just uh, on my table. Wait, oh, here. Okay, so here is the die cut. I'm going to just put on top. This die cut is actually come with a two. So if you don't use the outline die cut, is the when you like uh, see like this one i this one doesn't have all white die cut so the background is right you know next to your stamp image but the flower one actually have a two die cut so you want to if you want to have a little bit gap you can use this one so that way your image and the, your stem is going to have a, a little bit gas so no that's just use the detail one and then i am going to just put a little bit tape here and i'm going to run to the machine die cut it and 
I will be right back. Before I go, you can see I have a sticky part here. I have a sticky part there. So that definitely helped me to do the masking. Okay. Okay, I am back. So now I die cut my die cut. Okay. Got to make sure. Cut it out. So don't put this one in the garbage. We're going to need it. And this is a, the masking. This is the masking. See, you can mask directly on top. Okay. If okay, we touch it. Okay, like here I have some glue, but here it doesn't have it. So what you can do is you can just use some reposition glue. Put a little bit more, but make sure it's a reposition. Okay, so now we are using this part as our masking. That worked perfect. And then this is actually I was explaining in my last video is awesome. It's actually for the pimple, but squeeze your pimple, whatever. Okay, they have a very fine tip. So I think it worked very well. Okay, see? Perfectly masking, right? And then these pieces don't put in the garbage. We are going to need it. And then I also cut the one of my butterfly and then I am going to do the partially die cut to make, uh, to make a boom mark. So that draft one, we use draft, but this one, I'm going to use a, a butterfly. I think it's perfect. And then remember the $1 million tip, we are only going to cut uh, half of this butterfly. Okay, before I go to die cut it, just in case you know sometimes something is too simple but uh, we just like to make our life miserable we do the different way remember my last few video i was talking about uh, you can use uh, this one to do the die cut and uh, you can use embossing folder you can use the those self-healing um, cutting mat right so but this one, see, my die cut is small, but I only want to cut a part of that. So I have to fold it. I don't want to fold it. I want to make a little bit longer boot mark. And then I don't want to fold this part. So what I'm going to do, I rotate it, still saying I cut this side. Well, that way I can cut this side, but it's kind of weird. You know, I was thinking, say, I have to cut the small pieces the self-healing mat but you know how easy so this is the, what you're gonna do you put your plate like this and then that will cut so that will only cut that part why i have to make my life so complicated this way that way this way that way okay so the first one see i only I only really cut only the top part you just have to rotate it your cutting your cutting plate you know everything there is always have a solution so you just uh, you just have to figure it out and then i am going to just folding in the half see that's my boot mark and then we can even have some place to kind of hang hanging this bookmark yeah, awesome. And I think it's so pretty. So that's the first part of the bookmark. And then if you want to, if you're afraid they tear it off or whatever, you just put a piece of acetate like, uh, like this, right? I think it's a pretty good idea. Okay, now the next part, we're going to keep both of this one because we have a useful of the both of this one. And then I want to kind of create uh, some background to give it a little bit color. So this is the one I use for this draft. You know what? Let me go change the other ones. I'll be right back. Okay, I found uh, this, uh, this uh, paper craft uh, stencil. I have no idea. Like I have this for a long time. Are you a very neat person? 
I am not. You know, I have a lot of uh, plastic stencil and I can't find it with all they. So I'm going to just uh, kind of eyeball that, make sure my stencil is in the middle of my car. And then I am going to just use uh, my um, tape to tape it. And then I am going to just fast forward uh, for the coloring part because uh, I don't think so. This is uh, something like a new, you don't know how to, how to do it. So I'm going to just use the magic mushroom and then a few different colors to color then. So I'm going to just fast forward it. Actually, I'm going to move a little bit up. Because it's kind of out of my so I bought it. Is it straight? Okay, it is straight. Okay, so just uh, that's good enough, and I'm will be right. Okay, so I have uh, finished coloring right, and uh, here is something I might share with you. You can see I only put the the tape to secure my stencil. But actually, why when I am applying the color, my basic card is kind of moved. So next time I want to do, I will probably put some tape under, even just like a, a painter's tape in the back. You kind of make like a like a small portion, kind of like this, put in the back to secure your main piece, so that way they will not move. And then when you're working with a stencil, I prefer to use the sponge blending tool. Instead of a brushing, I always tapping. So that way is much easier because sometimes when you're brushing, you may, may accidentally um, pushing your stencil away. So we just try to uh, avoid that. I did accidentally kind of push a little bit. I hope it still work well. Well, it's still pretty good, okay? And then that's uh, clean my table first. And I want to add a, a little bit background, just to find that is it kind of too plain. So I want to kind of add a, a little bit script here. So I have this uh, dark brown color. Let me see. I think that will work. Um, yep, that's just to go for it. Okay, so you can just uh, because we this the uh, calendar you're going to fold it right. So I kind of just want to kind of stamp it anywhere I like. So just to kind of robbing this corner. Okay, very very light color. I think that's really pretty. And I'm going to add a little bit. This corner too. I think that's good. If you still find this um too plain, let's add some butterfly too. Okay, so I actually have this butterfly here. Don't know if the color is uh, good enough. So here is what I do all the time. I kind of stand uh, stamping to make sure the color is okay. I find out the color. It's actually a little bit light. And uh, the black one is actually too black. Okay, so that's the, uh, do something else. And uh, remember my cleaning. It actually really work. This is Scrabble, like a Scrabble, the DC Scrabble, okay. So let me find a color for my butterfly. I want to, I think maybe blue will work. Let's try the blue. So it's a good idea, you know, if you're stamping directly on top, you cannot change it, right? So yeah, I think the brown is the best. So, but my brown ink is a little bit too dry. I need a new ink pack. So that's the, I'm going to use a rubber nacre ink. This one, hoping they are dark enough. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. 
still not uh... you know what i'm going to use a black okay so i'm going to just uh, kind of stamping yes i think the black is very pretty and the decorate even nice firm press and remember i got that idea how to stamping the reverse stamp and die why i was create a video i think that's a uh, much ended out right and then let me clean my table first that's clean this is scrabble stuff and this is the uh, first of mars so versify see it clean very well okay so clean the table well is a little bit Stay there, so just a spray with a little bit. I am not going to working with a glitter anymore. See, my table is all glitter. Okay, and now we are going to remove or masking. Very nice, right? And now you can, if you are into the marker or um. What I call it, you can do the color, but like I say, I'm the lazy one. So I actually use the, my reverse bar. I am going to just uh, masking again. Perfectly here. Okay, just in case that uh, put a little bit of the reposition tape around it. Okay, so make sure we kind of maxing here. Okay, and uh, let me grab a piece of paper. Okay, and then we are going to call it is a fuchsia. So like I say, I am the lazy one. I like the fast result. I really have to clean my studio. It's really, really messy. Okay, so here is how I coloring. Okay, that's to have a little bit foundation. So that will be yellow. Okay, so I kind of just give a little bit tapping here. Okay, and then a little bit pink. Pink. Okay. So, but uh, if you are, you like to, you know, working on the coping marker, but uh, like I say, I like a fast. I really don't have a patient for a lot of things. So, especially coloring. I just want to watch a news that is one girl, she finished uh, 40,000 pieces of puzzle. Oh my God. That will drive me insane. How about you? Okay, and then we're going to do a little green again. So my green magic mushroom is a very, very dark green. I don't want that. I want to clean light green. So always uh, rubbing with a wet cloth. See? Put enough. If you want to have a more clean, you kind of just keep rubbing. So you can kind of mix it, you know. You can mix in your magic washroom, uh, washroom, magic mushroom with the uh, marker. So you kind of just uh, give, give you uh, the foundation color. And then just add a little bit marker. See? Isn't that pretty? Or we can, again, using or. This piece again, I'm going to give it a little shadow. So that way my fuchsia is going to pop out more. So you can use any kind of blending tool. They all work. Use what you have and then make it work, right? So now I'm going to make it around here a little bit dark. So that way my fuchsia will pop out more. So I am going to use a darker... I think blue, when the blue, oh, purple. Okay, but like I said, this technique is uh, work better with the sponging 
a sponge blending tool because you can see I am tapping. I am not uh, brushing because uh, when you brushing, you probably pushing your masking away. So tapping and also this magic mushroom, you tap hard is dark. You release the pressure is light. So you can kind of control it and then they can do the blending too. So I am going to launch the A background stand soon and I'm going to use uh, more the magic mushroom and then we are going to have a special promotion for the magic mushroom too. You know mag magic mushroom the problem is always the shipping. One box of magic, magic mushroom is really cost us $20 to ship to you. So take the advantage of this special promotion because it's going to be free shipping when we do the promotion. I can tell this is so pretty already. Okay, that's see what it looks like. Ding, 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 ding. Isn't that pretty? Isn't this a piece of artwork? I really think it is a piece of artwork. And the paper I'm using is just the cheapest uh, white cardstock that you can find. So these two pieces, you know, put back to your die cut bag and you can use it again. And then for this uh, butterfly, I am going to, you know what, because this is too small, I am going to just going to color with some markers. I will be right back. Okay, that's it. See, I finished my butterfly and this one, my final piece. And I just uh, put uh, some sentiment, may all your dream and wishes come true. So instead of birthday card, I think uh, this is only cost you dollar, under dollar, US dollars to make a beautiful ca um, calendar. So when you finish, right, make sure everything is dry. This is how you are going to put the ink. You don't want to fold it because if you fold it, they are going to have a very, very ugly line. So you just measure the size of your calendar, right? And then you are going to just put in, see, like this. Perfect. It's not beautiful. They have a protection too. And then you insert your calendar back. You don't want to fold in it. Okay, like this. And then now you can fold in it. Perfect, isn't it? So because we add one more sheet and they kind of adjust it, they will fit it perfectly. And then they kind of don't close. So that's why I come with one piece of this core to kind of hold in it. And then this is the book bookmark and then you can just add there and add a little bit dragonfly if you worry about the ruining that dragonfly just kind of insert it i think that's a beautiful birthday gift and then can you believe it it's only cost one dollar so this one i have to fix a little bit because of the background showing okay but it will work so this one, I kind of add the black background. You can like a layer, like a two layers or kind of border. This one, it didn't have the border, but I'm going to fix the back. I'm going to fix, it can still showing a little bit. So after you do it, if some moves happen, you can always trimming that part. So that way it will be perfect if you are picky like me. Okay, so that today's the video. I hope you like it and uh, you know what I love to hear from you and I love to see what do you do with uh, the local, local King Robert Stance project. Any card you make if you like you can always uh, post on the local King's uh, Facebook page or you can always uh, send me an email, a photo, text message and uh, I will be very happy to receive um, your artwork created by local King Robert Stan. So this is a, um, this is the today's project, and I'm going to working on the digital file for the 2021 spring new design. And I'm hoping I'm still going to working on some other project, 
and I think the next video probably is going to show you our new background stand. We're going to turn on the oven, start making the stand. If you like to learn how the rubber stand be born, um, just visit Local King online DVD library. You can see all the uh, all the video. Just click the video it'll be in the YouTube. Okay, and then make sure keep watching the video because the for or YouTube viewers. There is a special promotion code, so you can use on top of a promotion, you get, you can save the uh, better money. Okay, so I think that's a really, really cute project. And uh, I think if your grandkids or your friend, anybody receive this one, it's very useful and uh, they will be very happy. Okay, so if you like uh, more like a dollar store, stuff turn to the like a nice uh this uh rubber stand project leave me a comment let me know if you like this kind of topic so and i will focus on in the creating more and then otherwise i am moving back to working on the local king rubber stand the rubber stand so this is lisa from local king rubber stand thank you so much for watching see you next time bye